Chuck, LAPD Commander Andy Smith tells me tonight that these are cases back from the height of the Manson family crime spree four decades ago. Before we toss it back, we got to go to the Drew, the farm kid. How you doing there, Pally? Right now, you know, I know he can't say anything right now, but you know what he's saying right now? E, 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 <laughs> e equals MC squared. Get the camera off my face. I'll take this cantaloupe. Oh, oh. no. Oh, Dan, don't I'd make, make a him politician. cry. That's terrible. I love that kid. Way to go, I Dan. Way to make a baby boy cry on live television. Way to go. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. With just <laughs> okay. With offensive coordinator Tom Clark. With. Uh, <laughs> did you guys just see that football? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Anyway. Del pueblo Venezuela. Donde nos ha caído una. No más de 20 años. Correcto. No, no. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Wow. Wow. So, oh, hey, there's more. All, all I noticed was what went in my eye. What, am I supposed to go on from here? Hey, Darren, it's raining in San Francisco. It's raining bird crap, if I may say that. What happened? Oh, oh he lost. Did you lose something? <laughs> this is live, Pete. This is live TV. This happens in live TV. Her mic pack just fell off. <laughs> My are clothes you, are coming off. This is you, crazy. Oh. <laughs> anyway. We had to do his traffic first, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Should we go to, let's go to traffic first. Yeah. You, you get yourself together here. And look, they're big. This one is about 12 pounds, but they can grow. To <laughs> <laughs> Now we have John. Now this this is a tropical storm and you say Dan, why are you showing me this? Because John's going to move north. The moisture from John left over, the spin, the storm itself will turn into a depression. Nothing really to worry about as far as wind goes, but watch where the precipitation will go. Some of it will head up towards the west, some of it will towards the east. There is no sand. It's hitting up against the seawall and also we're worried about that. There's a shirtless man <laughs> jogging wearing a horse mask. I'm not quite sure. Obviously wanting to give a little bit of attention. <laughs> we are obliging him. We are obliging him. Yes, but I exactly. also have to tell you, it's cold out here. I'm wearing all of this stuff and I'm soaked through and I'm cold. This guy is shirtless. I, I don't even know. They want everybody who doesn't have a reason to be outside uh, in inside their homes. You heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them. But at this point, if you haven't left, don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the roads have become overwashed. This is only the beginning, and so all of the warnings do need to be taken seriously. Of course, power outages could be a problem. That's never a good idea, folks. Action News reporter Catherine Scott just arrived on the scene as she's standing by with the very latest. Catherine. I just lost it again. Beth, okay. Now, if you can only imagine... Uh, give it to you. He wanted to get the. Hey, all I got my. Get the campaign coming out. And seen get out of the campaign. I am. Man, I'm tired. I am. my own here. Uh, but, but you can't get the idea.
like that. 